You guys have probably noticed that as you move through your math career, you start to see equation with more and more letters or variables and fewer and fewer numbers. So sometimes that can be intimidating. But don't worry, you can still work with equations that have letters in the same way you would work with them if they had numbers. For example, one of the most often used equations in math is what's called the DIRT formula. DIRT, distance equals rate times time. Mathematicians can't really spell, right? So, just using. Okay, distance equals rate times time. What if this problem asked you to solve for r? What that means is get r all by itself. You're going to see this a lot. It's going to say solve for r, but there's no numbers involved. That's okay. You still use the same ideas. Right now, r is being multiplied by t. The opposite of multiplying is dividing. So the way I would get r all by itself would be to divide both sides of the equation by t. So I'd be left with r equals d over t. This is useful because if you were asked to find out how fast somebody was going, what's their rate, and you, were, you knew their distance and how long it took them to get there, you could solve this equation for r. You could find r. r is equal to distance divided by time. So again, this equation didn't have any numbers, but I was still able to do this problem and solve for r, pretending that there were numbers. This is a great technique you guys are going to use throughout the rest of your math career.